919 Hybrid Evo is an ultra qualifying version of our ultra successful 919 Hybrid we won at Le Mans with. The car is now lighter, it's an active aero concept, a lot more downforce. It's really something you have to get used to in the beginning and really make a step in your head, in your mind and say yes, it works, it's okay, you can stay flat. The engine or the powertrain is fundamentally the same, but uh, we've deregulated it. We have 1200 horsepower when we're at full boost, so that's a huge bump in performance. You have to be mentally prepared, physically prepared, and just very focused to nail the lap. Au Rouge minimum speed right now is 303. We came here with a, with a mission, see how fast we can make a 919 hybrid Evo. The difference between the normal 919 and now is huge, it's immense, it's beyond imagination actually. So we're going 10 seconds, 11 seconds quicker. We showed today that uh, with all the tricks that we, we brought here, we can make it uh, quicker than a Formula 1 car. So the um, 919 Hybrid Evo is a, an ultra qualifying version of our ultra successful uh, 919 uh, Hybrid we won or had success at the Mall with. Um, the car is now lighter or as light as we could make it. Um, the, the aero is being developed so it's uh, an active aero concept so a la Formula 1 with the DRS front and rear. Uh, a lot more downforce but then uh, when the DRS is on a lot less drag. Um, uh, the engine or the powertrain is fundamentally the same, but uh, we've deregulated it. So uh, we've got a lot more power from the internal combustion engine. Uh, fuel throw rate's no longer regulated and fuel per lap's no longer regulated. So uh, there's a, a bump of around 200 horsepower, uh, which is quite nice. Um, and as a result, with the energy recovery, particularly from the, uh, the AER or the exhaust gas, uh, we also manage to recover significantly more energy. Braking zones, uh, or braking well, speeds in which we start braking are much higher. So the uh, so you know, to the front, we're generating a, a lot of energy. We're just shy of 1,200 horsepower when we're at full boost, so it's, it's a very nice number. Um, I mean, from the internal combustion engine, there was a lot of scope to go more, but uh, I mean, it was beyond the scope of the project to, to change the, the powertrain itself. So, uh, I mean, with uh, an optimized fuel, maybe new pistons, uh, that number could have been quite larger. But, uh, yeah, we had to also uh, limit ourselves in, in certain areas to be, be realistic. And also pay homage to, to the 919 hybrid concept that we raced at Le Mans. And a dream for, dream for the whole team. It's a really nice way to sign the project off. I mean, ultimately, uh, it's not unlimited because we start from our, our, our Le Mans pro, our car last year. So uh, it's been fundamentally optimized for Le Mans. So for this project uh, or for this exercise, uh, it comes with some, some small limitations. But then to at least demonstrate the potential of that concept last year, it's a wonderful opportunity for not only myself, but for the team. I mean, anything that improves vehicle performance or reduces lap time, uh, we're definitely in favour of. So, uh, personally, uh, I think uh, this exercise and also the exercise uh, of the last three to four years at Le Mans demonstrates that quite well.
if you're improving the powertrain efficiency, then uh, that doesn't necessarily mean it has to improve performance, but improve fuel efficiency, which is uh, vicious. So, I mean, uh, there's lots of gains there, for sure. I feel great today. I mean, uh, we came here with a, with a mission, see how fast we can make a 919 hybrid Evo. And uh, we showed today that uh, with all the tricks that we, we brought here, we can make it uh, quicker than a Formula 1 car. Well, compared to yesterday evening, uh, there was not so much change in the car. The track conditions, uh, particularly ambient temperatures uh, and uh, track temperatures, suit the car much better this morning and also uh, the tyres. And uh, we're able to learn from what we did yesterday, also with Neil, and put it all together this morning to go, uh, to go so quick. For the tyres, the tyres were designed for a cool, uh, ambient and cool track temperature, so that's what we saw this morning. And also uh, the engine and aerodynamics, they also like a little bit of humidity, a bit of air density and the cooler temperatures as a result. So uh, we had a bit more engine power and the straight and a little bit more downforce as a result. So putting that all together, it really suited the car. Neil's a sensational driver and uh, the performance this morning was absolutely outstanding. I mean, the car is over 10 seconds quicker than what it was here in qualifying last year. And uh, I mean, the car was not really designed for this purpose, uh, we've done our homework, and Neil's done his homework. Uh, we built up to it slowly over the last few days, but this morning, uh, as he's done many, many times with us, it was an outstanding performance. I think this uh, uh, aspect of teamwork is what really defines success at Porsche team, and we're just building on that here this weekend, and try and optimize everything we can to, to achieve our targets. Our drivers, our engineers, our mechanics. The difference between the normal 919, how we drove it here last year or how we got pole position and now is it's, it's huge, it's immense, it's beyond imagination actually because we're going 10 seconds, 11 seconds, quicker, even quicker, just the cornering speed, the acceleration, it's really something you have to get used to in the beginning and, and really make a step in your head, in your mind and say yes it works, it's okay, you can stay flat. The car is 10 seconds quicker or even more quicker, uh, even quicker than, than when we drove here the last time. And, uh, then a little oversteer becomes a bigger oversteer. So each second you gain, each five seconds you go quicker, you get new issues or new problems to solve in car handling setup. And it's really step by step. You can't just put more grip on the car and it works. It's really you have to find then the details and put everything together and make it a good package. And that's what we're doing today. Um, it's not that easy. It's a lot of work, but it's detail work, which uh, I think the whole team and I definitely like. Driving that car, uh, you have to be absolutely uh, awake. You have to have a lot of presence of mind. You have to be right here, focused. Because, you know, uh, Eau Rouge, we take uh, minimum speed right now is 303. KPH. Uh, if you're not precise, then in Orouge, uh, you know you will have a, a big moment. And and the rest of the track, uh, I mean, it, 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 the speed is so high. The G forces are high. We're over five Gs now. It just makes it very physical, also. So you have to be mentally prepared, physically prepared, and very focused to to nail the lap, basically. It's impressive every time. Uh, Especially here, when we see what you can do with tire development, you know, going through a route at 300, over 300 kph through the compression laterally over the curve, the tire has an enormous stress. So, yeah, it's it's impressive, you know, what you can develop and in what way and what direction and what is possible. So, yeah, impressive. I've done the lap record at Le Mans. Uh, unfortunately, we lost it two years later. Now let's hope this one holds a little bit longer. But it has been an intensive three days for us, uh, for the whole team. Uh, we started uh, a lot slower and we worked our way into, into this low 40s. And, uh, and I think it was a great job by the whole team, you know, step by step, very methodical, very scientific, also by Michelin with the tires, how we improved the tires. And, uh, and, and impressive how, what they did from yesterday night to this morning, because this morning I immediately felt the grip, everything is perfect, now uh, we need to do it for the lap time.
more downforce and just want to play with the cars more and you know for sure if you have limits by, by the regulations and rules for sure you it's, you want to go as close as possible and get every, the last little bit of details out and, but now if you have no regulations in the end I mean for sure the fun really starts because then you can think a little bit outside the box and that's what we, what we do right here I mean you can still see it's a 919 hybrid and it's still I mean it's absolutely the same concept but for sure we push the limits a bit further and uh, yeah I mean, as you see there's so much more performance in it and that's cool to see. So as a driver, for sure, the first couple of laps, you're really deeply impressed. But after a while, you say, okay, yeah, it's, I want more, I want this. And here we have to fine tune a little bit. And it's probably human and, and natural, but uh, it's, it's, it's nice to see, I mean, all these cars, how quick they can go around here.